Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we will discuss what is Notebook Editor in Metabase, parts of Notebook Editor and when and how to ask custom question with Notebook Editor. So let's start with the demo. When your query is bit more complex for simple question, if it requires joining multiple tables, multiple stages of filtering and aggregating, or custom columns, you can do so by creating custom question using Notebook Editor. Click on Ask a Question button in the top nav bar and select Custom Question. It will ask you to select the starting data. Starting data can be one of the tables in your database or previously saved questions result. You can use most saved questions as source data, provided you have permission to view that question. You can even use questions that were saved as a chart rather than a table. In the data section, select the orders table. Let's first understand notebook editor's different part. The notebook is made up of a sequence of individual steps. Under each step you will see buttons to add more steps after the current one. To the right of each step is a preview button that shows you the first 10 rows of the results of your question up to that step. When you add a filter step, you can select one or more columns to filter on. If you have a more complex filter you're trying to express, you can pick Custom Expression, from the Add Filter menu Create a Filter Expression. You can use comparison operators like greater than, less than, as well as spreadsheet-like functions. Adding a summarize step lets you choose how to aggregate the data from the previous step. You can pick one or more metrics, and optionally group those metrics by one or more columns. If you summarize and add a grouping you can then summarize again. You can also add steps to filter and or join in between. Custom expressions allow you to use spreadsheet-like functions and simple arithmetic within or between aggregation functions. Custom columns are helpful when you need to create a new column based on a calculation, such as subtracting the value of one column from another, or extracting a portion of an existing text column. Note that columns you add in a custom question are not permanently added to your table. They'll only be present in the given question. The sorting step lets you pick one or more columns to sort your results by. For each column you pick, you can also choose to sort ascending or descending, by clicking the arrow to change from ascending, up arrow, to descending, down arrow. The row limit step lets you limit how many rows you want from the previous results. You can join data to combine your current data with another table, or even with a saved question. Note, you can only pick tables and saved questions that are from the same database as your starting data. Next, you'll need to pick the columns you want to join on. This means you pick a column from the first table, and a column from the second table, and the join will stitch rows together where the value from the first column is equal to the value in the second column. At the end of your join step, there's a columns button you can click to choose which columns you want to include from the joined data. By default, Metabase will do a left outer join, but you can click on the Venn diagram icon to select a different type of join. Not all databases support all types of joins, so Metabase will only display the options supported by the database you're using. Multiple stages of joining will allow you to join M more than one table. If you want to see the SQL that will get run when you ask your question, you can click the little console icon in the top right of the Notebook Editor. So this is all about Notebook Editor. Let's try a simple join in the Notebook Editor. Start a new custom question with the sample dataset. In the data section, select the orders table. Next, click on the join icon to add another table. If we add the products table, Metabase will automatically fill in the foreign key relationship, since it knows that the field, product ID, contains foreign keys that reference values in the ID column, the primary key, of the products table. The basic SQL at work under the hood is. Databases have primary key which uniquely identifies each row in the table and foreign key stores a reference to the primary key of a row in another table. To join tables, you will use foreign and primary keys to tell the database how to combine data from multiple tables. Let's use Metabase's data browser to look at some keys with the tables in the sample dataset. From the top navigation bar in Metabase, go to Browse Data, and click on the sample dataset. Hover over a tile to see additional options, and click on the book icon. The orders table contains one primary key that is ID, and two foreign keys, user ID and product ID. The foreign key product ID is associated with the primary key ID of the products table. The foreign key user ID is associated with the primary key ID of the people table. We can combine data from orders, people, products by joining on these keys. If we try to join the orders table to the reviews tables, 
Metabase won't know what to do because the orders table does not have a foreign key for the reviews table. Now check for the foreign key in reviews table by going to data browser. The orders table has foreign keys to the products and people tables. The reviews table has a foreign key to the products table. To connect the orders table to the reviews table, we will need to join them via the products table. We will use a custom question to specify the joins. First select the orders table as the data source, click on join data and select products table. Metabase will automatically shows the columns on which these two tables are joined. Again click on join data and select products and reviews tables. By default it will show you orders table in the left and will ask you to select table in the right. Select reviews table in the right. Once done select fields, scroll down and select products table here and then click on ID. You can see orders table in the left is changed to products table. For second field it will give you only reviews table option. Select product ID from the fields. If you visualize the results, you'll see a table of all of the columns from all three tables, orders, products, and reviews. Note that because a single product can have multiple reviews, we will see multiple rows for the same product in order, one for each review. In addition to joining our tables, we can be selective about which columns are visible in our questions results. In the notebook editor, you can select the columns metabase here. Once you've saved your question, you can also select the visible columns from the settings sidebar. You can apply filters and summarize the result. Let's apply filter as subtotal is greater than or equal to 100 and see the result. Now summarize this result by default metric as count of rows. It will show you total number of rows with selected criteria. You can save this query for later reference or for sharing with your team members. In this video we covered how to create custom question to join multiple tables, creating custom columns, visualizing results. In the next video we will discuss how and when to use native query builder in Metabase. Thank you.